Motherfuckers are always asking me, Hood, you a big boy. Where you get your confidence from? I be like, I caught it on sale at the 99 cent store, motherfucker. Y'all ready to slide into some of these hood facts? What's up with you, YouTube? Alright, this is your boy, Jeremy Hollerhood. And it's now time for your hood facts. Alright, the hood facts of the day is gonna give you a very close glimpse of who I am. Normally, all the time, I'm usually cracking a million jokes on, online, on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and what have you. But today, Hood Facts, I want to explain something to you. And like I said, you may understand more about me. And today's topic is money do not move me. Money don't move me. And I'll explain it to you just like this. All right. So I see a lot of people when I be on Facebook and Twitter and Wherever, whenever I be out, I see a lot of people always talking about money. I'm going to work 30 hours today so I can get to the money. Workflow. I got stacks. I got bands. You know, all this good stuff. And listen, money is the second most important thing in life right now. You think I'm lying? God is number one and money is two. You cannot survive without God, number one. And you damn sure can't survive without money. What can, I can't live in this apartment for free. I can't even record this video and upload it to YouTube for free because I got to pay my internet bill. I had to pay my light bill. I even had to pay bill to wash my face and get my hair cut. Everything costs money. So money is the second most important thing. And I know that we all need money to survive. We really do. But money don't move me. So back in 1995, it was probably, this is the explanation to you. 1995, my it was like October, September, October, and my daddy had came to the house, and I had a broke out wonder in my back room wonder. And he told me, you know, he came and patched the wonder up, and he said, son, I'll be back probably in a couple of weeks to fix this wonder for you. Okay, cool. And then at the same time, he told me, I like, daddy, give me $100. When I see you, I'm going to give you $100. I said, okay, cool. I want my $100. <laughs> so... In November, right before Thanksgiving, 1995, I was over at my aunt's house one night, <clears throat> spending the night, and I woke up out of my sleep <clears throat> because I was having this weird ass dream. And I woke up out of my sleep, and and I was like, "Where everybody at? Everybody was gone. The TV was on. I like, what kind of fuck shit is this? That was weird to me, cause at four o'clock in the morning, nobody ever got up and left like that. So my auntie came in the house. She said, "Buddy, my nickname is Buddy." Buddy Chuck died. I like, Chuck who? Yo daddy. I like, damn. That was a, the most emptiest feeling I ever felt in my entire life. I felt bad as hell. Like, I, I didn't even cry. I felt numb. I felt like, damn, my daddy did. And I thought about the last time I saw him, it was just like, he was totally different. My daddy used to be cracking jokes and carrying on, but he was quiet. He was reserved. He didn't, you know, he really didn't talk that much to us. And like I said, he had fixed the, patched up the window for me. So I was looking forward to him coming back like he always do. So to make a long story short, I remember getting uh, this, not, I'm not disability. I remember getting a social security check for my daddy. And I remember the day that I got my first check, because like I said, my daddy died. My first check was over $1,000. And in 1996, she had $1,000 with balling. She had in 2015, $1,000 with balling. Who the fuck I'm trying to fool? But seriously though, I remember getting that check and cashing it and I had this cash in my hand. My mama practically gave me my whole check for my daddy, you know, my social security check for my daddy. And I remember going in my room and I had all this money and I sat there in the bed and I was like, this thousand dollars, well, I was happy to get my check at first, but when I got to thinking about it and I was about 13 then, I was like, this thousand dollars don't mean shit to me. Who could I give this thousand dollars to just to bring my daddy back to talk to him for five minutes? Nobody. I couldn't give this thousand dollars to nobody to bring my daddy back. So from the, that moment on in my life, ever since then, money has never impressed me because having material things and having, you know, flashy cars and new clothes and a new house and all this stuff, all this stuff is good. And I never hate on nobody who want it and work hard for it. And But at the same time, you'll never see me being a person that bragging about something. Because, like I said, if all the money I had, if somebody would give me a billion dollars cash today, who could I take a billion dollars cash to today to bring my daddy back just to talk to him for five minutes? 
Who can I do that for? Who can I take money to? And I think about all the celebrities like Whitney Houston and Tupac and Big and Smalls and Elvis Presley and Michael Jackson and Left Eye. All these celebrities got all this money. All this money. Who could they? I mean, Michael Jackson is worth a billion dollars today. Michael Jackson can't even take a damn dollar and go to the 99 cent store and buy a bag of tater chips. Or oh, he can't even go and buy nothing because he dead. Money has no value. And that's how I see money. I need money to survive, but you will never see me, Jeremy, on Facebook, on Twitter, bragging about money, bragging about material things because that's something I don't do. Now, if my daddy was still living or if I could take money, all my money in the world and give it to somebody and bring him back alive, then damn right I praise money. But that's why I know that ain't gonna happen. So that's why I tell people, money don't move me. At jobs, people be like, well, you're gonna work, <clears throat> if you work your 40 hours this week, you can also work overtime. People be like, I can't have a life because I'm working so much overtime. I'm not doing that. I work enough just to get enough, to, I work my 40 hours and that's it. I'm not money hungry, I'm not greedy. I'm, a lot of my videos I'm putting on YouTube, I'm not even trying to monetize on them. Even though I should, and I can, but it's not even about the money. I'm not even making videos for money. I'm not doing nothing for money, because money does not move me. The most important thing that I want in my life right now is just to have a conversation with my father, to talk to my daddy, to ask him how he doing, so he can see what kind of person I turn out to be today, and money can't even do that for me. So that's why I'm just saying, money don't move me. Do you feel me? Do you understand what I'm saying? The most valuable and most important things in life, money cannot solve, money cannot help, money cannot change, money cannot give me what I want in life. So money has no value to me. But hey, like always, <clears throat> I'm just a loud ass country boy from Alabama. What the fuck do I know? Them your hood facts, all right?